Hi, you Evolving Now family. I'm Andre Young. I hope that you've had a fantastic day and ready to evolve. Welcome to the Thought of the Week. Now, this week's topic is called Creating and Maintaining Masterpieces. So I've been thinking about this one. I can't wait to share it with you. In evolving form, I'm going to ask a question from my Evolve book, answer it, and then ask it back to you. But first, we do our quote. No masterpiece was ever created by a lazy artist, Salvador Dali. My questions are simple this week. What masterpieces have you created in life thus far? And what masterpiece are you currently working on? Now, in answering this question for myself, it made me add a step because I'm going to talk to you today about ones that we've created, that I've created, ones that we are maintaining, but I wanted to share something different that came up when I was just thinking about it. It's the masterpieces that we walk away from, that we're done with. Now, a fun fact about me is that I was a painter way back when. I sold my first painting and only painting when I was 13 years old. So I used to love it. I used to draw. I used to paint. I used to do all of those things. And it was a great experience in my life and a gift to be able to say that I've done that. But in painting and as a painter, and you would go through, I don't believe that you can always mess up art. You have this thing in your head, the picture that you see, you put it down. But if it's not how it looks, you can morph it. You can do different things. But as an artist, you know when you're done. And I can do a painting and say, okay, I'm done with that. I'm on to the next. Anything I add, anything I take away, it's just not going to sit right. I'm done. And sometimes with the masterpieces that we've created, we have to be able to say we're done. You know, I was an athlete and I work with athletes. And sometimes we know when we're done that sport, whether it be because of injury, whether it be because of interest, whether it be because of timing in life and to be able to walk away, but walk away with peace. And your piece, our piece, not somebody else's piece, not somebody else's measurement of success or accolades, but being able to walk away from your masterpiece with peace, knowing that you gave it all you could, you have taken it as far as it's going to go, there's joy in the places that your passion has taken us, and we get to live that and enjoy that in our life. And whether that's in sports whether that's in a business that you may have created, that you have created that masterpiece, and now it's time to walk away. Maybe it's in relationships, and not always in the significant, intimate relationships we have, but sometimes. But maybe it's in friendships and old relationships where it's time. It was for a season, and I got everything that I could, and it was a masterpiece that I'll never forget and be able to always recall and look back on, but it's time. So, I hope that resonated because we've all been there. So that was masterpieces that we've finished and we get to revel in. Now, what masterpieces have we created? The answer was easy for me. And I think if you're a parent, most of us will say, well, our masterpieces have been our children. And I look at my masterpieces and I'm blessed to have three. I have a fourth on the way. If you didn't know that, another uh, great life <laughs> fact for me. But I have a fourth on the way, and my masterpiece has been my children. Now, my children, just like your children, don't always behave the way you would want, don't always follow through or do or say the things that we feel that would be most beneficial for who they are and where the life is. They're going to make those their own decisions with that. But those masterpieces have been absolutely awesome. I love what I get to do and speak with you from a business and concepts that I've created through you evolving now. And masterpieces, I used to be a therapist. And I used to love doing and working with people in that way. And that is something that I'll always get to say that I did. So those masterpieces that I've created are valuable. What masterpieces have you created? What masterpieces have you walked away from with peace in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit that you'll revel in forever? Now, lastly, what masterpiece are we working on? My, what I'm working on is the masterpiece of my desired lifestyle. 
And that's huge of what I do from a You Evolving Now perspective. What is your desired lifestyle in your four Ps as a person, as a partner, as a parent, as a professional? And then we have all of the other roles that you play, whether as a son or daughter, a friend, a grandparent, and you can put it all there. Write it down. Let's think about it. So my desired lifestyle, from a person standpoint, how do I want to be? And then how who do I want to surround myself around as I'm that way? And the great thing is that you, 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 and me get to decide that. See, we're the general managers of our team. You get to decide who's on the team, who's not on the team. So being able to create a lifestyle, create a masterpiece of friendships, of people that I enjoy being around, people that when I'm with them and I leave them, I feel better, inspired, and motivated. Who is your top five people for that? My, I want to create a desired lifestyle in my professional world that I get to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, and support my family from it. And then to be able to build and create and bring on new people to create new business and to create a bigger impact where I can then eventually start to do less. That's the plan. If you're going to have a business, what's your exit strategy? Just a tip. As a parent, it's really big for me to create a lifestyle now as a 42, going to be 43-year-old parent. I'm a lot different than I was. I wasn't always Mr. You Evolving Now. And when I was 23, I had my first child. I am now 42. And I get to create the desired lifestyle and masterpiece of my family with all of these additions that I have is awesome. And lastly, as a partner. I get to create this masterpiece. I want to be able to love my wife harder than anybody could ever imagine. And not expecting anything in return, but I know who I married. And I know when I love her hard, she's going to love me hard back. So that's the masterpiece lifestyle that I'm looking at. How do I get to live that, enjoy that, and revel in that? How do you? So guys, I want to say these questions again. I want you to think about these questions, but most importantly, live your answer. So what masterpiece have you finished and with peace in your mind, heart, and spirit that you walk away from and can revel in? Do you know your partner's answer? Do you know your kid's answer? What masterpiece are you creating? Do you know your partner's answer? Do you know your kid's answer? Because perhaps there's something that you can do to help that and facilitate that. And they'll never forget that. And never they'll always appreciate that part of you being a part of their dream. And what masterpiece are you maintaining? Do you want to maintain? Because things are going to change. And whether that be as a person, whether that be in your business, whether that be in your family. Change is inevitable. We have to know that. So how do we maintain what we have without it having to be the same? Because it won't. So guys, think about these. More importantly, live your answer. Find out somebody else's answer and help them live that. And if you like this, you're going to love everything else that I offer through You Evolving Now. So if you are an employee or a business owner, let You Evolving Now impact your work-life balance for your employees your home and work culture at your job and for your employees. If you're in athletics or know somebody that is, let us impact your team because they're more than just athletes. And if you're an individual, you will love my virtual one-on-one mentoring. Check it all out at youevolvingnow.com and I will see you next week. Have a fantastic day and enjoy your evolution.